Hi everyone. In a video, I've shown how to, to test React components using Cypress component testing approach. Now, in this video, I will show how to take this repository and actually run the test on GitHub Action CI. So, uh, let's start. I'm going to make GitHub folder dot GitHub, and I'm going to make workflows. And now I need the actual workflow file. So I'm going to use Cypress GitHub Action and I'll just look at an example. So this is the basic example. Let's copy and we'll say CI YAML file and I'll call it CI. I'm fine running on a push. Ubuntu is fine. We'll check out the code and then we'll run Cypress Action. Now the only other thing that I need to uh, correct. When I was running locally, I was using Yarn and I was using Cypress OpenCT. If I want to run on CI, I would have to use Run Component Testing. Now, I'm using Cypress version 9, so this probably will change in version 10, but it might be very, very similar. So, if I want to run with custom command, let's see, then all we have to do is to use following argument right so we're saying use cypress github action but with custom parameters in this case the command is not the default you know cypress run but your cypress run ct and let's see do i have to do anything about yarn mm, probably not I think there is nothing to do if we're using yarn okay so i think the action will pick yarn automatically when it sees that there is yarn a log file. So add the GitHub, add CI, and let's push it to GitHub and let's see how it runs. Okay, action tab, our CI job is already running. Click on the job. Okay, the code was checked out. It's running yarn frozen log file because it found yarn.log file. So this action will also cache everything on GitHub. So we don't have to worry about that. Notice it's preparing a cache. Now it's running my custom command yarn cypress run ct. Found two component files, which is great. The app component test, which I can show right here, right? That mouse the component, exercises the uh, toggle, uh, checks local storage and the media watch that work and the last thing i want to do i want to go to the workflow and i want to create a status badge and you know i'll use the main branch or master in this case copy the markdown go back to the readme and add the status badge right here add status badge and i don't need to even run things on ci Okay, so this is how I act, make sure that my components and my files actually work on CI. 